Hello, welcome to another video of Scribble Sphere. Today's movie news roundup. Oh yeah. So, um, there's not a lot to talk about. Some things I'll be pointing out from the last video and, and some new things I'll throw in there. This is going to be all over the place today. Um, so let's start with the movie news. And um, there's not a lot really to go through with the movie news. There have been talks that Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire have been in talks with MC, um, with Marvel's Kevin Feige. That's a rumour. There was another um, YouTuber that said it's been confirmed that he will, they will be uh, appearing, whether it be Multiverse of Madness or Spider-Man 3. We still don't know yet if that's going to be confirmed, but this has obviously been talked about in my last video, so I'm not going to go deep into it, but that is where we are with that. Um, I don't know, and something that I have actually read today, Real Steel. Now, Real Steel has done really well on Netflix, um, I'm guessing in America. Because I've no, I don't think I've seen it on Netflix over in the UK. I could be wrong. Um, it's not a film that I fell in love with, but it's not a film I hate. It's a decent film. Um, we are now getting rumours that there could be a sequel in talks because of how well it's done on Netflix, and it could go straight to Netflix. So that could be something to look forward to. Um, I'm just going to go through a list of films that I'm looking forward to that should be releasing next year, because they haven't got a lot of movie news to talk about. Um, so, let's start with the obvious. The obvious one, the Batman. Um, James Bond's new film. You've got Black Widow. You've got A Quiet Place 2. Halloween Kills. And then you get Halloween Ends in 2022. Um, these are all the films that I'm looking forward to next year. Um, can't think I've missed any big ones. Probably have. Well, there's probably one out there that will come next year. And I won't know about it, but it'll be interesting to watch. Um, there's not a whole lot to go down the movie news list. Um, obviously, James Bond has been moved to next year, which causes Cineworld closed. Cineworld is officially closed now. Um, I'm sorry, I'm, I am delving into little stories that I did last week. Um, TV news. The Flash is officially starting filming for season seven. Finally. We're finally going to get the Flash very soon. Um, and I really look forward to it. Um, any other TV news i got for you? As you know, we've got the usual. The, the usual um, TV shows that are having to start filming now. Supergirl's last season next year. Um, yeah. Something that I think I didn't put in my last video. But I knew about. Supergirl is ending next year. Um, it's going to be the last season, season six, I believe it is. So, you know, we're kind of thinking, where does that put Flash? Um, for me, obviously, the, for the CW, the Flash is the most popular show on the CW. Um, so, I can't see it being in too much trouble, but it does beg the question of Supergirl's out, Arrow's out. Legends of Tomorrow will probably be soon leaving, you know, but you've still got Batwoman. And you've still got the Superman and Lois series. And there's there's still possibilities of other shows coming out soon. Um, there's been a lot of talk about there being... Not necessarily there being, but what people want is a Batman Beyond series. Which people think would fit perfectly in the Arrowverse. I think that would go into the... Sort of set it up in um, the Green Arrow and the Canaries TV show. And then have it spin off of its own show, set in the future, um, maybe get some old Barry Allen in there, you know, um, maybe get their version of Bruce Wayne, whether it is Kevin Conroy or a completely different actor. Um, I know they have put in an actor for season two of Batwoman, um, or was it the, the end of last season? I'm not following Batman or Woman all that much. Um, so I can't tell you if they are actually following in last season, or if it's this season, but uh, the character who's Hush um, has got Bruce Wayne's face, so they have got an actor. So maybe they could do that where he's like, they could get an actor that looks similar, or get him in some makeup. Just having him in a couple of episodes of that Batman Beyond, if it ever happens. So, uh, before we continue with something extra, 
which is just going to be me talking about some of the stuff um, that I've enjoyed in the past week. Um, the usual. Please like, comment and subscribe on my channel. It is much appreciated. And click that notification bell if you want to be notified when my videos are uploaded. Let's continue. And we are back. Okay, so something extra. And there's something extra this week is very different to what I did last week. Um, there's not a whole lot of news talked about um, with when, when it comes to consoles and stuff like that. So this is just going to be what I've enjoyed the past week. So... What is it that I've enjoyed the past week? The Haunting of Bly Manor. It, has, it is a very good series. Don't get me wrong. They were saying it was scarier than The Haunting of Hill House. It is not. And also, it is not a better series either. The Haunting of Hill House is way better than Bly Manor. Maybe because it's the love story aspect. And that last episode drags for me. You get the final scene where, you know... And the main character goes into the sea, says this, it, you know, says that I, me, you, me, you, and us slime. And then all of a sudden that ghost is inside her. And then we get years and years that go by and until eventually she's gone. Bottom of the ocean. Um, it, it, it is sad when you watch it. But I wasn't in tears. Um, I, I just think that the way the show went in the end was not as good as The Haunting of Hill House. Um, but it was still decent. And I'm happy with it. Um, as I say, I have already talked about my Supernatural uh, episode review. The video that you'll be getting. You would have already got it, actually. That might be my first video that I'll be uploading today. Um, so you've already got that. There's not been a lot else um, that I've enjoyed in the past week when it comes to movies and TV shows. Um, I've not watched anything new. You know, I'm currently re-watching The Walking Dead. Now, halfway through The Walking Dead, I split off. I wasn't very intrigued by it. Um, I think I just sort of lost my way with it. There was a lot of other shows that were better that I kept with. Um... And I'm now currently re-watching it. And I'm currently really enjoying it. And to the point at which. That every time I'm coming home. I'm watching The Walking Dead. So. Um, so yeah. That is everything that I'm going to be talking about today. Um, thanks for watching. I know this wasn't very um, organised. I will try and get it a bit more organised. But I've got to try and get my videos out. As quickly as possible. Especially considering the fact I don't live on my own. I have to rely on my dad being at work. So, uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. I've been Squibber. This has been Squibber Swear. Thank you. And I'll see you later.